Hey, Sofrito lovers, this is Ben Ramos bringing you this week's mukbang from my palatial home here in the Northwest Bronx, the Bronx. It's the home of hip hop and salsa. I am bringing you a taste test slash mukbang. I, check it out, three sandwiches, where are they from? Yes, they are the McDonald's chicken sandwiches. Okay, so this one here is the deluxe. As you can see, it's got the lettuce and tomatoes and all that, it's deluxe. This one is a spicy chicken sandwich. Look, it's spicy. It's got some sauce on it. And this is just a regular crispy. It's just like, kind of like, look, it's pickles and a patty and all that. Let me, let's put this down. Um, I'm going to go one by one with you guys. God, I feel so on trend, you guys. I'm so on trend because you guys know. Some of you that have been with me for the longest time, those of y'all that are OG sofrito lovers, you guys know. I do these taste tests that are trends on on uh, YouTube like five or six months after no one cares. So uh, now I'm like all on trend, finally. I'm, I'm on point. Still working from home. It's my lunchtime. So I'm doing another lunchtime mukbang slash taste test. We are multitasking por todo lado. Estamos haciendo todo. Mira, this is the regular crispy sandwich. It's just, it's very plain. I thought there'd be something on it. It's just like pickles, a bun, a patty. Yeah, and another bun. I don't, I don't know. It's, um, okay. So Frito Lovers is very basic. Uh, this piece of chicken better be really good. Oh. I got some McDonald's fries here too. Okay. It's a crispy chicken sandwich. It's like potato a potato bread bun, which is really great. I like the potato bread nice and soft. That wonderful, wonderful flavor you get from potato buns, kind of sweet. So frito lovers, I mean, the fact that the pickles are there are giving us that nice briny salty taste but it's a good tasting patty it's just really dry there's no sauce I, i've been told some people say that there's like butter on it or something it's just it's it tastes okay it's a well-seasoned cutlet of a chicken cutlet it's just really kind of plain and dry and a little like it's lackluster. This is the first one. I mean, guys, it's like, it's just okay. You know, you want your chicken sandwiches to like, be a little, a little bit more oomph, a little bit more just exciting. It's not exciting, it's just really dry. And it's getting like drier. <laughs> I'm trying to chew it and I feel like it's sucking all of the moisture out of my mouth. <laughs> I got some water. Mm, yeah, I, eh, I need this. So that was the first one. So Frito Lovers, it was the first one. Guys, it's okay. It's mediocre. A well-seasoned chicken cutlet. Thank God for the, the two or three pickles that are on there to give it some extra salt and some extra tangy flavor. It's just kind of really lackluster. Sorry. Let's do the next one. This one is the spicy one. This one looks almost exactly the same as the crispy one, except that it's got some sauce on it. Looks like some type of, maybe it's, if this is the spicy one, I'm assuming that the sauce is spicy. And from the looks of it, how creamy it is, I bet you it's like a mayo-based sauce. Y'all know I don't like mayo. Uh, okay, let's do this. Oh. No. 
I feel like it tastes like buffalo sauce. It's like a buffalo mayo mix. And it still has that really heavy mayo taste. Mmm. Mmm. So, Frito lovers, oh. I don't like buffalo sauce. I know it's like breaking the cardinal rules of loving chicken wings. I don't like buffalo sauce. This has a slight buffalo heavy mayo flavor. It's spicy, but not too intense. I just ah, feel like I have all this mayo in my mouth. Mm. Mi gente, sofrito lovers. McDonald's is not working with us today. I'm sorry. The next one is the deluxe. Oh, Lord. Oh, dear. So this is uh, a lot of mayo tomato, um, lettuce, and uh, no pickles. They decided not to put any pickles on this one. The last one, the spicy one, had pickles in it. I forgot to tell you guys. Okay, I'm going to wipe some of this mayo off because I feel like it's uh, a lot of mayo. This doesn't seem like this is all that different. I mean, it's just like the regular first one, except that they just put more mayonnaise on it and lettuce and tomato. Yeah, I'm trying to wipe, desperately wipe, like the gigantic glob of mayo that they put on this poor piece of potato bread. Um, ay, mi gente. Ay, ay, ay. I'm not, oh Lord, let's do this. Okay, why they took the pickle out of this one makes zero sense. Chicken sandwiches must always come with pickles. That's like the cardinal rule. That's like the 11th commandment. Okay. This is just basically the first sandwich. They just swapped out the pickles, put in lettuce, tomato, and a lot of mayo. I just wiped off a good chunk of the mayo. I think this is the one that I like the most. Honestly, this one's the regular. Real regular degular. Nothing about it. It's mediocre. It's okay. Would I ever order it again, the first one? No. Not at all. Um, I think their McChicken sandwich that they've always had on their menu is better. This is the spicy one with that weird buffalo mayo. Way too much sauce. And it's just strange this is their deluxe if you're gonna order this ha order it and ask them to put pickles in it i think that nice briny tangy pop would improve this this is like my favorite because I took out a lot of the mayo. There's still some mayo there to give us some creaminess and some moisture because it needs it. Because these patties can be a little drying. And there's a lot of breading on the patting. So there's that always that feeling of like the moisture being sucked out of your skull, out of your mouth. The lettuce and the tomato, they give you more crunch. <clears throat> they give you a little bit more flavor. <clears throat> If you're a mayo head, then you'll love this. If you're one of those people that, you know, puts copious amounts of mayo on everything, you'll love it. I had to wipe off a lot of it. Just enough so that there's still some creaminess and some moisture. Lettuce, tomato is fine. This one is really not that much different than their McChicken sandwich that they've had on their menu for a while. It really isn't. 
except that the patties taste just slightly different and it's on potato bread. And their McChicken, I don't think has a, no, it doesn't have tomatoes on it, but um, it's like lettuce and, and, and mayo. I don't know, I don't, these sandwiches don't seem like anything special. Some of you probably already had them. Like, do you get that vibe? Like, these sandwiches are not all that. They're trying to compete with Popeye's chicken sandwich, which was a massive, you know, a hit. I need some fries, guys. I need something other than. I think Wendy's has a new chicken sandwich. McDonald's, yeah. McDonald's is just not not crushing it with the chicken sandwiches again the first one is mediocre the second spicy one is gross and the the deluxe is okay like i wish i could tell you oh these sandwiches are beyond belief but they're they're kind of basic simple and they're not big on the flavor if you're gonna give me a chicken sandwich wow me Come up with a brand new delicious sauce, something sweet and tangy. You know, maybe a little spice, but not buffalo spice. I don't know. Come up with something, come up with something a little creative. You know, I like the Popeye's flounder sandwich way more. Way, way, way more. Mm. Folks, the star of this mukbang, the star of this taste test is the goddamn fries. The fries are so good. And I use a ketchup that we buy here, a Hunt's ketchup. Because I don't like the ketchup packets from McDonald's. We use um, a Hunt's ketchup that's so rich and creamy. And it has this really nice, delicious tomato-based tomato flavor. Mm, and it makes these fries even better. Okay. So, so Felito lovers, <clears throat> I'm bringing you a taste test mukbang. This is the deluxe, like I said. It's the one I like the most. Oh, God, when I put it down, I dipped it back into the glob of mustard. Mustard, man, it's mustard. I love mustard. You know, there are some Southern places that make these delicious chicken sandwiches with these like hot and spicy, sometimes even hot and sweet mustards. That would be an amazing sauce for a chicken sandwich. Mm. That would be nice. A nice mustard sauce on a, on a fried chicken patty. Mm. And then the lettuce, tomato, and the and of course the pickles why they took the pickles out of this one they kept the pickles in the other two why take the pickles out for this one I, there's a a pickle pop that this is missing mm. i don't get it mira tú sabes cómo dicen cada loco con su tema crazy you know what i'm gonna expect mira i'm gonna take the pickles from the dry ass mediocre first one i'm gonna put mira I'm experimenting. Okay. Thank you. The pickle, such a nice little salty pop, a nice tangy pop. Look, look. It elevates it so much more. They should not have taken it out. Mm. Now I'm really liking this deluxe. Okay, folks, we're going to try the deluxe. Doesn't come with pickles, like I've said a thousand times. Ask them to put the pickles. Mira. Mmm. Mmm. So, Vito lovers, I'm telling you, those pickles will save that deluxe sandwich. While you're asking for the pick pickles, ask them if they could put half the mayo, too. If you're a mayo head, you're probably going to love it. I hate mayo. What I really wish is that they had 
I recently <clears throat> at work found out that the hot mustard that that McDonald's sells in those little packets, that hot mustard is pretty good. I had some with some nuggets because usually I'm a sweet and sour or barbecue or ranch guy. I tasted their hot mustard and it was so good. That would be amazing on here too. If they put some of that hot mustard that they put in their packets onto this, this would be incredible. Mm. So Frito lovers, I'm spitting chicken sandwich everywhere. So Frito lovers, thank you for being a part of this taste test mukbang. My lunch time is almost over. Got to get back onto the grind. My desk is that way. Got to get back onto the grind. Como siempre, go out there, go taste for yourself. It's just my opinion. Go to McDonald's. Check out these three sandwiches. I liked one out of the three. And I had to do a lot of improvements on that one. <laughs> go out there. Go taste for yourself. Go, <clears throat> go have some culinary adventures. Be smart. Be safe. Wear your mask. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Como siempre. Mucho, mucho amor.